Hi guys, so this month we are talking about change. That is most fundamentally why people join gyms. They wanna transform something about themselves, they wanna evolve change, something might be motivating them internally, like deep inside, like there's a dissatisfaction with, you know, uh, where, where they're at physically, mentally, emotionally, and they endeavor to a fitness program to, to change that. So the second part of change is, if, assuming that you're motivated internally and or externally, is the behaviors. The behavior's gotta be somewhat consistent, and we all know that, and that's clearly obvious. Like, okay, well, do you want change? Do your behaviors and your consistency and adherence to a program help to support the change that you seek? Yes or no? That's a sort of binary black and white question. It gets a little bit more complicated when you start thinking about, okay, what are the other things in addition to adherence? Well, you gotta have good relationships, people that support the change that you're seeking. And this, good people, is why I've spent so much money and so much time and the staff has been busting ass to develop themselves the last couple years. We have a staff that supports our clients with an average of 11.2 years of coaching experience per full-time coach. Now my guess is that there aren't many environments that have that depth of coaching experience. Now whether our clients relate to that, you utilize that, um, and get the full value of it is a whole nother question. And it's one of the purposes of this month's chalk bucket. Like we have really evolved the value system at the gym from quote elite fitness to supporting long-term sustainable growth. Now those things aren't mutually exclusive. In fact, elite fitness is an adject aspect, in my view, of sustainable growth. But goals and motivations evolve and change. Assuming that you're somewhat different than you were in 2015 or 2011, I'm assuming that that, has, that statement has some resonance. And if the goals are the same, probably means we haven't uh, moved the needle on any of them. <laughs> so it begs the question, how do we support our growth long term? Well, with our business system, with the gym environment and what we're trying to do at the gym, very explicitly and specifically, what we're trying to work on is having our coaches support our members, our athletes, our clients as fully and as robustly as they can, as professionals should. The full value of our coaching system is utilizing this breadth and depth of experience. So, Change doesn't happen because you're motivated to do it, and it doesn't happen just because your behaviors line up. Over time, people have to relate to you in a way that supports the change. Over time, that can be done with coaching support, it can be done with friendship support, it can be done with familial support, it can be done with communal support. All of those things are part of the relational qualities of your change. If people don't relate to your change, they're likely gonna sabotage it in one way or another. And if we're growing, that's something that we've got to really consider. Lastly, if, you, if you're not in a culture that doesn't help you support your evolution as a human and your growth as a human, it might be wise to consider you know, that environment as a whole. Because does it support the things that are important to you? And in the end, what I'm looking for is a business that understands the natural evolution of a person. Our job, my job, is to make sure that our coaches are on point enough to maintain a reasonable level of value for our members and our clients. And what does that mean? That means that a great coach has to have a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom. Wisdom comes from years of doing and being the thing. Knowledge comes from continu continually seeking to, to better yourself with, with new information as it comes. And we do that habitually. Um, we do that collectively as a group, and we do that um, with <laughs> with massive gusto and massive effort. So, whether it be all the certifications, the the, the breadth information that we've been taking in the last couple of years, um, how to apply that, um, the evolution in our product development, whether it's the run classes, the breathing classes, the yoga classes, the mobility classes, whatever it is, those are just adjunct aspects of the value that we're trying to deliver. Whether y'all wanna use that or not is up to you. We are here to deepen the conversation about how 
to get some transformation, how to get some change, how to get some growth. And that is not easy. It doesn't just require, like I said, proper motivation and behaviors. It requires good relationships and it requires a system of support. Our job is to relate to your change. Our job is to provide a system that supports your evolution, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. And yes, I know that that can sound massively esoteric, but we are on the, es the west side and why shouldn't it be that we so sound esoteric? And all joking aside, why shouldn't your physical program be something that's more than just physical? Why shouldn't it be something that's mental and emotional as well? And that is a more complex conversation. That requires great coaching. That requires a very advanced community, which I know and believe we have. I love all you, coaches included. That's it. Peace. Happy July.